I think uh, what stood out today was just our, our focus level. Uh, you know, going this our, this is day three of camp, uh, and just the intensity today when we were playing uh, it was very high. The focus was high, and uh, you know, some good days from a lot of guys that uh, came came in ready to play. I thought uh, Mike Scott came out and uh, shot the basketball really well today. Uh, his team. I can go down the line with everybody. You know, the good moments today. Uh, Joe looked good, in shape, uh, and just uh, playing hard. So everybody looked good. Ben hit 23 today. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not yet, not yet. What's the most thing about Joe? Just uh, he's, he's one of the players that does a lot of things that don't show up on the box score, but. Um, his intensity defensively, uh, he's quick to, to run the floor, get, get put back, get out transition. He's a very athletic two guard that uh, is able to find different ways to be impactful on the court. So he uh, can play with the basketball in his hands, can play without the basketball. He's a really good all around player that's going to help us out a whole lot. I know you guys didn't play together too, but I'm assuming you guys kept in contact yeah. with Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, uh, you know, I've been able to watch him from a distance for some years now. I watch his career in Miami, and then uh, to be here at training camp together and uh, be on the same team. Uh, you know, just us today, me, Ben, and Joel Al playing out there together, running the floor. You saw us, how many options we had. Uh, you also saw just that we uh, there's a lot of newness with with all of us together that we we got to continue to. Build that chemistry, but it, it's coming along day by day. How, how do you think you guys match up against the team? Uh, it has like a smaller, not so small, but a uh, stretch four that, that's more of a win. Um, you got you know, like Jalen Brown, uh, Gordon Hayward. Um, are you curious to see how your size are going to play based on who the opponent is? I always say like this how they going to match up for size? That's how I look at it. Because, you know, you can throw whoever out there, but at the end of the day, uh, they got to match up versus us first. And then um, I think we, we, we kind of are a team with our size, with our skill and ability. I can control the narrative on a lot of things that we want to do. So, um, you know, obviously there'd be a, a lot of different schemes to play in teams that go small and whatnot, but uh, they got to they gotta guard us also, you know what I mean? Do you see any evidence that he's trying to play Yeah, I mean, uh, he's definitely looking for a jumper more. Um, and, uh, and, you know, you see, you're see, seeing guys now play him a little different, where, um, you know, guys are, like to go under him a lot, but he's, because he's looking for it, they're, they're forcing it over the top on him a little bit more than usual. So he's definitely improved. He's working on it every day, and he's looking for it. I guess it's, uh, it's going to be against your own team, but you think Saturday might be different when you're out in fans, in front of fans for the first time. Uh, this preseason will that add something different to it on Saturday? Yeah, I think it'll be, uh, you know, excitement. Uh, it'll be a chance for us to really go up and down even more versus, uh, versus each other. Uh, you know, we'll get out of this beautiful practice facility and go somewhere else to play. Uh, but it's uh, be just uh, some more excitement and uh, another challenge, and another chance for us to just get better and uh, build our chemistry. Josh mentioned that you guys had dinner the other night back at your place. So, what, how important has that been to kind of build that camaraderie and chemistry with so many new guys? How important is it that you guys are kind of building that off the court as well? Yeah, that's what we want to do. Is uh, as a as a team uh, get to know each other a little bit more than just uh, where somebody likes to go on the court or where somebody wants to basketball. Uh, Get to know each other on a personal level, so you know when push comes to shove during the season, we have that transparency to be able to communicate and um, you know be able to talk things out. It's a long season. There's a lot of things that can get in the way. Uh, you guys are one of them, whether you like it or not. But there's a lot of things that could just come about, and uh, we want to have that um, that togetherness as a team that nothing can separate us, and that we, we're riding for one another each and every night. Two more guys. Do you think? Yeah, 100. Uh, percent I do believe that college athletes should be getting paid. Uh, 
I believe that, you know, for for some years now. Now you're seeing a lot of it get exposed in the media and, and catch light. And, um, you know, I, I, the excuse of, or the response of, the, again, the academic scholarship, that, no, uh, we're not rolling with that one. Uh, corporation, NCAA Corporation, making billions of dollars off these, these young, young, uh, young men playing and um, they deserve to be paid and deserve to get their check. Last one. Matisse has gotten a few mentions Oh yeah, but yeah. Okay, Matisse is uh, doing a great job. He's uh, very far ahead, uh, just in terms of defensively as a rookie. Uh, you know, I've got to see him in like a couple weeks prior when we were out here playing. Uh, he's very skilled defensively, uh, offensively. There's a lot of uh, the early things as a rookie, cutting, slashing, getting to the rim. So uh, you know, Matisse has a lot of potential, a lot of ability. He's doing a great job. All right, thank you.